Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is another A-level uh, tricky question, which is also applicable to AS level. It is on integration area under the curve, and let's get into it. Ten marks. Here we go. Okay, so we have a, a curve, and we have a line, and we have the point P, which is at the x coordinate of four and the y coordinate of 15. And we know that it's tangent to the curve at P. And we're asked to work out the area um, shaded in, in R. Okay, so because it is tangent to the curve, we can work out the gradient at the point P by differentiating the curve. So I'm going to write dy by dx, and then I'm going to differentiate by multiplying the power by the coefficient. So 15 times 3 over 2 is 15 over 2, and then drop the power down by 1 to a half. And minus 9x just differentiates to minus 9. And I'm interested at what the gradient is at the x-coordinate of 4, because that's our point P. So I'm going to sub 4 into my uh, derivative. And that will give me 4 to the power of a half is 2. Uh, cancels with the divide by 2, so 15 minus 9 is 6. Okay, great. So the gradient of the curve at the point P is 6, which means that the gradient of the line is 6. I can now do my equation of a straight line formula, which is y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1. And I can substitute in my... Uh, x and y values at the point P, which are 15 for y. The gradient is 6, and the x value is 4. I can multiply out the brackets to get y minus 15 is equal to 6x minus 24, and I can add the 15 over, so I get 6x minus 9. So that's the equation of the line L. And this tells me that the um, y-intercept is minus 9, so I can label that on my sketch, minus 9 there. And the other uh, point which we can work out is this one here, where it cuts the x-axis. So where it cuts the x-axis, the y-coordinate is 0. So I'm going to set y equal to 0. And that means that um, 0 is equal to 6x minus 9 at that point. So 6x is equal to 9, so x is equal to 1.5. Okay, great. So I can put that on my uh, sketch as well. We've got 1.5 over there. Right, now I can start looking at areas, now that I've got all of my key points on the curve. So let's look at this blue area here. Now that's underneath the um, x-axis, which means I can't really use integration for that particular point, because Anything under the x-axis will give me a negative area when I integrate. So instead, I'm just going to work that out manually, and because that's a triangle. So that blue area there is a right-angle triangle, and it has a base of uh, 1.5, and it has a height of 9. So a half base times height will give me 1.5 times 9 over 2, which is 6.75. Okay, great. Right, the next area I'm going to look at is this yellow area here. So that's the area underneath the curve between the x values of 0 and 4. And I can work that out using integration. So I will, to find the yellow area, I will integrate the function or the curve um, between 4 and 0. And the um, the curve is 5x to the 3 over 2 minus 9x plus 11. And when I integrate this, I will up the power to 5 over 2. I will then divide 5 by the new power, and that will give me 2. And I will then up the power uh, to get squared and then divide by the new power which will give me minus 9 over 2 and I will up the power to get 11x uh, whoops I think I wrote I wrote a half there I'm not sure why I did that that should be 2 let me just change that quickly apologies for that okay and we need to integrate that between 
we need to sub in the limits between 4 and 0. So subbing in 4 first is going to give me um, 4 to the power of 5 over 2 times 2 is 64. And then um, that's going to give me minus 72, and this will give me 44. And then subbing in 0 will give me 0, so just take away uh, 0. And that gives me 36. Okay, great. But the yellow region is not what we're actually looking for. I'm going to colour in this region here in green, because that needs to be taken away from our final result. So what is that green triangle? That has a base of the gap between 1.5 and 4, which is 2.5, and it's a height going up to the y coordinate of p, which is 15. So 2 times 15 over 2 is going to give me 18.75. Great. Now we're ready to um, work out the total region R, and that's going to be the uh, blue plus the yellow, uh, but we need to minus the green because we don't want the green part which was included when we calculated the yellow. So that is 6.75 plus 36 minus 18.75 and that equals 24 as required. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please do subscribe to the channel. Please do like the video and share. I've got lots more videos on A-level maths. Check them out. Bye for now.